morning, afternoon, or evening, just depending on what neck of the woods that you guys are watching from. I'm Sheila with What's Up, Y'all, and today is What's Up? We are going to finally put the ship lap up on our wall. Remember that back there, guys? I was telling you earlier videos. I know some of you watching go, why don't they paint that wall? Why is it looking like that? Because there was no point. We knew eventually that we were going to put up shiplap and that will cover all of that. So we just left it as is until we were ready. So today we're going to get started. We are amateurs. So as we're doing it and learning as we go, though we did watch a, little, a few little um, YouTube videos, but we're going to give it a try. We've got our tools ready. I don't know, usually something like this, they say like one or two days or something. It might take us a week. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and get started today. I want to show you um, kind of what's going on. As you, as you can see, the walls and with the, the spackling on it and everything. We live, let me go over here. We live in a manufactured home. We moved from the city, for some of you that don't know me, uh, and Mr., my husband, his name is Keith, but I call him Mr., so you'll know who I'm referring to, and Sammy, our dog, right there. But we moved from the city uh, to the mountains, and some things are a lot alike, but there's a lot of things that are different moving from the city to the mountains. Of course, like if you want to go to uh, to the store, you know, that's kind of like an all-day thing because it takes us about 25 to 30 minutes to get to the nearest town to get our groceries. So you have to make a list for anything that you want in town to go on and get it all done at one scoop. The other thing is that we've never lived in a manufactured home before and it has its challenges. So some of you that have never lived in a manufactured home and think, you know, something's like easy peasy to put up or to do, not I'm telling you, everything's small, uh, the sink's small, the doors are small, everything's small, so it's been a challenge of things that we were used to, even down to the electrical. It's not like normal in your normal house. But anyway, I'm hoping that when we put up the shiplap that we're not going to run into any of those problems as we have before uh, in doing things. Uh, one of the major things we did, and I don't think I've got a DIY, I know, but maybe I can put up pictures later, is that we took out the garden tub. That was the only thing huge in this whole place was the garden tub. And of course, us at our age, we couldn't get in and out of it very well. We were afraid to because it might slip and fall, you know, that kind of thing. So we put up a stand-up shower, which has worked great. And maybe I'll show you later pictures of that. But right now, let's get started. And as you can see, I've, we've got furniture to move. I've moved some already, like our um, our love seat there. There's possum. But our love seat, I've gone ahead and moved that over. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I forgot to start recording. But anyway, here we are, and I've got to get, I've got to empty out that china hutch back there. And I guess, I don't know where I'm going to do with that stuff. Like I said, everything's little in here. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but we'll figure out someplace. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope that you learn something as we learn, you know, and give us some suggestions. If you could see something that maybe our next, if we ever put up any more shiplap, you know, some, uh, some ideas or some tips. I mean, we are game to information, let me tell you. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Please like and subscribe so you can get later videos that we're going to put up as we have the challenge of living in this manufactured home and uh, the things that we come up against. Uh, maybe you live in a manufactured home. Maybe you've got it down pat, but we're just learning. So the challenges are on and stick with us and watch us as we go through our home. See you in a minute. Okay, Mr. is now pulling up the baseboard. And there's our shiplap that we're going to put up. We had to put it inside so it would get acclimated to the temperature in our house and wouldn't bow or anything. It's been a pistol getting this stuff up. Now we're having to take up a little bit of our um, cedar that's there. And so we could put the shiplap 
right beside it there on that corner. So he's got to take out that one piece there, and then we'll put it back later. Anyhow, it's a, it's a, it's been very interesting. We didn't know the um, the problems that we were gonna be faced, and there's the hole, the hole that um, when the water came in the front door, I guess for the people that lived here prior to us, and it just kind of rotted that out. So here we go, taking down the ceiling, molding. There's the hole. You see it? Pull back that little piece of uh, paint there. I guess that's just paint. It's not sheetrock. Mister is trying to seal up around the windows where he had put new molding around the window. But we're just trying to plug up all the holes so the cold air won't come in. So he went and got some insulation and stuffed that hole so no cold air would come in through there too. I mean, we tried to put it in there really snug. And then he's going to use the um, just the painter's tape. It really doesn't matter as long as we have some tape. I don't care if it was duct tape. You know what I mean? He's seeing if there was any studs there. And that's been a chore. Let me tell you to try to find the studs. Gosh. It's not been easy. I don't care what, what they're saying if it's easy. It's, it's really been difficult. I mean... Here we are, we're just getting started. And of course, we're doing you know, a little prep work of taking down the molding and everything to get ready for the shiplap. But he had to plug this up to make sure the air wouldn't come in and we'd lose air this winter. Last winter was really hard. We had holes all over the place in this, in this double wide, around the windows, the doors. I mean, they didn't even put plastic up under the house here. We had to have that laid down too, you know, to kind of hold the heat in and keep that moisture out as well. So we've done a lot of work so far and we still have a lot of work to do. And it's been different. Now there's our first row of shiplap. Now it hasn't been nailed yet because as you can see, we've got to find the studs. And this thing, I guess maybe we just need a new one or maybe it needs new batteries, I don't know. So finally we said, forget that. Let's use a nail and see if we can find those studs there. So we did. So basically that's kind of how we went about it, instead of relying on that stud finder. Of course, Mr. says, I'm right here. Ha, 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 ha. But anyway, so we made a little line. So we, first off, we tried to use the, uh, the chalk string, and he told me, to pull it down to the, he was holding the top, and then he just kind of flipped that little string, and when he did, that blue chalk got all over my hands, all over everywhere. I go, I don't want to do that, so we just used the nails to try to find the studs. Now here, we're laying the first row of our shiplap. Now as you can see, look at that, see the floor? It is not level not level at all so you have to get it that is really important of all of this that we this is the main thing that's the most important is to find um, get your level and level the first row because if you don't the rest of the stuff the rest of the shiplap is going to be off and thank goodness we're going to be putting down base molding so here we go using our handy dandy nail gun, which has been a pistol, let me tell you. I'm trying to show Mr. where the stud is. Right there, Mr. Okay, guys. We've only got two rows done. We've run in a lot of complications. And one being, some of the boards just, they weren't um, square, whatever you call level. Um, so we had to kind of throw those to the side. So then we are running against our um, air gun, nail gun, 
it's not uh, it's not uh, putting in the nails in the wall and it's just leaving these holes so we got tons of holes to, to patch which is okay it's okay but our backs are hurting and um, we've just kind of had to watch our thought processes because it's um you get eel <sighs> to the point we're even fussing at the nail gun like it's the nail gun's fault it's our fault anyhow um i guess we're gonna try to finish up this second row i'll show you what we've got done and of course we had to cut out one of the receptacles and i will say this only cut the holes of the receptacle that's the size of the hole uh, not around the receptacle plate itself, but the hole that the receptacles come out of. So you want to make sure, which we did good on that. We did good on that. It's just, um, we're hoping that we're kind of getting over the hard parts because now we got to kind of cut around this window and let me show you. Okay, here is where... Now, mind you, I mean, I know it looks dirty. We're going to paint. But, you know, we've got to cut the, we cut the bottom part, which was, is good, okay? And um, then we just got to, the next board, we got to cut, you know, measure and cut around there. But what we're running into, <clears throat> and even we're cutting the boards off on each end so they'll be square, you know. But it's, uh, and you can see all these holes. Look, and look what we did right there. Oh, well, that'll be covered up. But we are just, well, oh, let me show you this one. So that way you don't feel bad if you've done it and, it, and things are not just kind of, it's like going smoothly. But um, this is real life. This is real life. We're not professionals. But um, anyway, you can see all these holes we've got to patch up. But then look, we've got to measure this, you know, to come um, of course, around our window there. Uh, right now, you can see we've only got two boards. And see this, this right here, there's no stud there. So we're like, what do we do? So they say not to draw, use the um, adhesive, like the liquid nail. I don't know. Anyway, we got this is at the bottom, it's going to be behind the couch. So you know it and I know it, but anybody else that comes here won't know that. Okay, but we'll put some um, caulking in there, trying to make that look pretty. And so right now, what Mr.'s doing, is he's measuring this last piece and I think we're gonna call it quits for just a little bit because we're tired and getting up and down off this floor at our age Lord Jesus but anyway and there's our, our our brand new nail gun and like I said all it's doing is just making holes we finally got it to work we don't know how we got it to work right I don't know maybe maybe we went holding our mouth right or something okay so, almost two complete rows out of about five hours, something like that. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm ready to call it quits for right now. Just to hurry up. Let's get this last row in and be done with it for the day. I just feel like I need to take a hot, hot shower. Take me some ibuprofen. And, and we're on day two of putting up shiplap. First time we've ever done it. Um, I can say that yesterday was really a challenge living in a manufactured home. I remember I told you everything's small. Even the studs, to find the studs, you think you found them, but you know, where they would be like this, they're only like this. And so you've got to get it right on to uh, nail the shiplap up to. It was a challenge yesterday. Even though we had the uh, chalk line, it still was a challenge. So I, don't, I don't know what's going on with those studs. Well, good morning, Trixie. Let me show you guys. You ready? Somebody wants to say good morning. Oh, there she went. Hey, Trix. Good morning. She's wanting her food this morning. Says, please give me my food. The other two are out there playing. But uh, she she usually comes up and greets us and tells us, "Good morning, tricks." Say good morning to everybody. Nope. Well, 
anyhow <clears throat> I'm trying to get my coffee going here um, in fact on my little Keurig it says it's ready now so I'm gonna go ahead and get my coffee going so I can get going I did have a shower this morning that helped me wake me up some but we were so tired yesterday I'm telling you it took us five hours to do only two little rows of shiplap they don't tell you all of this usually in those videos that you watch it's like they got it going fast you know the uh, the the fast speed and like and and it's up well they cut out all the uh, the conversation between the two that are putting it up and and we're, we're nice we don't say try to say ugly things but you can tell I bet our, our mind monologue is saying things that probably we would dare to say out, out loud. And I try to be very careful with that, but I'm going to tell you, it's been a pistol. So, I'm glad that you're watching. It's persevere, right? Persevere. We're going to get this done. I don't know how many days. Like I said, today we're on day two. Yesterday we only got two rows up. So, after I drink my coffee... Mr. and I are going to get at it and see what we can accomplish today. So come on, let's go do it. Today is day four. Today's Thursday. We started on Monday putting up shiplap. And I don't know about you guys, but these YouTube videos that are out there that are, you know, like getting it up like lickety split and just no problems at all. I just kind of find that hard to believe. So I'm just going to give you the facts that Mr. and I... This is, you know, our first, we're amateurs at it, of course, but we watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to put up shiplap, and we thought we had a good handle on it. Well, <clears throat> we got a new uh, air compressor with an air uh, gun nailer, and one, we only got two rows up at the bottom. We started at the bottom, only two rows, and because our nail gunner gun would continually misfiring so on Tuesday we tried it again and it was just a fiasco I mean we didn't even 
maybe got half of it done. I mean, you know, you may want to say words that you, normally people don't hear, and because we we are Christians and we try to be the best that we can be, it's like it was like bite your tongue kind of thing. It's like I wanted to sling that nail gun out five acres across. I mean, I was sick of it. I didn't want to see the nail gunner. I didn't want to hold a nail gunner. So we took it back to Lowe's and we got another nail gun. And actually so far, I can't get my fingers crossed, so far uh, we've been okay with it. And um, so we're hoping to finish up today. Today is Thursday. And like I said, one day we just kind of took completely off because that stuff was kicking our butts. You hear me? Kicking our butts. So I'm just letting you know, you, know, you guys, you know, maybe you want to be, you know, like the professional shiplap people and get it up and down. It just don't happen. You always run into problems. These unforeseen things like the board is warped or the walls warped or the walls not square. Now rem remember that we live in a double wide in a manufactured home. We've moved from the city up to the mountains and of course we took on these projects but everything in the manufactured home is not like a regular stick built home. It's, I mean it's nothing. Everything's small. I mean, everything's small. Your windows are small. Your doors are small. Everything's small. The only big thing, and I think I've, I've shared this with you before, the only thing that was ginormous out of this house, of course, was the property, and we were mesmerized by it. We love it. We love our property. But the only large thing in, in our, on our manufactured home was the garden tub. And needless to say, we had to take that out because... Mr. and I couldn't hardly get in and out of it because you have the 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 uh, the front part was so wide you had to step way over it to get in and by the time you're doing that especially when you're getting out if your foot's a little bit wet you're gonna slide on that floor and bust your behind so we decided that we we're going to take that out so we've taken on many projects here. But we're trying to finish up today. We've got to make another Lowe's run. No, not for the nail gun, but uh, cross your fingers, our nail gun will work today. But we've got to go get some molding. I kind of want to show you guys what we've done, what we've got left. And we're kind of like scratching our heads because, as you know, in a lot of the manufactured homes, how the ceilings kind of go up at, a, at an angle at the top. We're kind of like, are we going to be able to do this? So stick with us, and um, we're learning, and maybe, just maybe, you'll learn something too. Let me show you the walls. Okay, right here is what, <clears throat> excuse me, what we have done. And like I said, there's a lot of, still a lot of nail holes. We've got to come back, and we've got to fill the nail holes in with cork, uh, caulk, not cork. But um, then we've got, you know, your seams. We try not to put too many seams, but also we're trying to be uh, mindful of how much lumber that we have, shiplap that we have, and make it work. Here's was our, our really tough babies right here, is to get these. Now look what they put that down there. Now why won't they put it right there? But they put this right down there. But anyway, so we've had to, you know, try to measure and to do that. Um... Here we go, let me show you. Over here is what I'm talking about. Um, we've gotta go get some corner pieces, we gotta get some molding. But right here, the walls, you see how it goes up at an angle? So we're, we're crossing our fingers hoping that as we get closer to the top, that we'll have enough wisdom we got to take down that molding up there. We have enough wisdom to um, to finish it up. And I don't know why this is. We, I guess we were so tired last night. You know, we, we had to uh, make sure you get all your chalk lines, you know, where your studs are. That's another thing. You know, in normal houses, you got studs that are, like, yay big. This one, they're little. So you've got to get it right on spot to, to get these little itty-bitty studs. So this is what I'm talking about. I don't know why we didn't nail this. You see, it's kind of still sticking out from the wall. So anyway, we'll, we'll get that finished up today. 
and uh, hopefully finish up this wall today because I cannot stand this. This has been like four days. Our living room, our mobile home is a mess from the floor up. I mean, nothing's in place. We've got the sofa, everything out. Look at this. Look. I mean, it's just the rug all bunched up. So I can't wait to kind of get things back into order. Plus the fact the rest of the, the uh, our home is kind of falling apart because we're spending most of our time, you know, on the um, on the wall here. But even in there in the den. I mean, it's just, I don't want to show you that right yet. I even got a clean Woodbird's cage. Bless his heart. I mean, Woodbird, he is over. How old is Woodbird? My mother passed away in 1996. She gave him to me in 1994. I had him two years before my mother passed. So kind of calculate. But um, he's old. He's a sweetie. But you see his cage. I've got to get his cage. It's been neglected because I was putting the shiplap up. That's why they call birds fowls, because they leave kind of like a foul mess right there. But anyway, there's a lot of things that I've got to do. Well, hey, Wood, you want to say hey? Hey, Jim, say hey. Hey. Say hey. Hey. You can say good morning. You want to tell everybody good morning? Huh? Good morning. Okay, well, we got to go take a trip to Lowe's, Wood. You keep the fort down. Okay, it's day five. And we're still working on the shiplap. They make those videos seem like it's so easy. This is this video here is the good, the bad, the ugly. Because either the walls are not square or in this manufactured home the walls are wavy. Things don't fit flat like they should. It's a, it's been a mess. So now we are putting this up, our let me turn you around. So we're trying to get this little edge up here. And then, of course, we're going to have to start running the other part there up. But so far, That's it. this is it. It is Saturday here. And we, Mr. and I, have been working on a project all week. Well, almost. Tomorrow will be all week. Monday. Maybe. I don't know. We start on Monday. Anyhow, we did take one day off because we were just so stressed um, putting up our shiplap. Yesterday, we pretty much kind of finished everything. Let me move. Y'all see me in the mirror? Uh, <clears throat> we kind of moved uh, stuff back. We're not completely finished. We still have some caulking to do. We put up the molding. We got to fill nail holes, and then we have to paint. But... The bulk of it, bulk of it is done, and I am so glad. I am tired. I'm exhausted. These people that put the shiplap up and they just make it look so easy, as I said before, not. I'm gonna tell you, especially if you live in a double wide, because well, maybe not all double wides, but ours things are just not square. Some of the walls are like Bowie like. The studs are like this big. And to try to nail uh, the ship lot too, it's been, it's been something. I mean, you almost about lose your religion. But anyway, I'm going to show you. I've kind of moved things back, but we're almost finished. And um, I wanted to show you guys. So hold up. Okay, here we are. As you see, I've moved some of the things back. Uh, but that's it. And we put the molding up. I hope you guys can see that well because of the light that's coming in the window. Um, I moved my sofa back. Everything, oh, there we go. There's Sammy, hey Sammy. He's tired too. But uh, this is it. Uh, this was a half wall back behind that love seat. But we just put the corners up and the corners behind the uh, hutch there. I'm going to paint the hutch soon. I think I'm going to paint it. That was Mr. Uh, I think I'm going to paint it maybe, uh, I don't know, some kind of green. And I want to put 
white um, in the back there so when I put my objects in there in the case <clears throat> you'll be able to see them but so far I'm gonna try to wrap this up maybe another day maybe I'll show you a painting but you guys know about painting right and uh, but this is it just trying to get like I said our things back into place um, yeah our rug um, I had to mop the floors over there was just there was just mess everywhere but this is it guys this is kind of the the uh finished product you can see right there we need to put some um caulking and actually we need and over the window actually we need to get some screws and see if we can screw in some of it because it still kind of wants to pop out because like i said tr these little um uh what do you call them the um the studs, that's what I'm trying to think of. The studs to try to nail it into was, it was a chore. But anyway, this is, uh, this is it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's, um, we've still got some things to do on it. It was not that easy. I don't care what they say. It was not, and especially up there. When you're an amateur and trying to get it with the angle of the ceiling, oh my goodness. Oh gosh, that's just another, that's another uh, vlog, maybe another time. We are planning on doing our, the, our back behind our bed in our bedroom, but we thought, well, you know what? I think we'll just wait till, till next spring. We, we just kind of need a break from this for a little bit because I've got other things that I want to do and we want to try to get some things done before a winter starts uh, setting in. But anyway, there's Sammy. That's his special little place. Anyway, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. My name is Sheila from What's Up, Y'all. And until the next project, I'll see you then. Bye. Remember, I love you, and Jesus loves you more. Bye.